According to the investigation, Riley Strain was not given too much alcohol the night before she vanished. The investigators were unable to determine any wrongdoing. The Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission stated after an investigation that there is no evidence that Broadway Bar's overserved University of Missouri student Riley Strain alcohol on the night of his disappearance in Nashville. Numerous pieces of evidence pertaining to Strain's alcohol purchases made in downtown Nashville on March 8, the night he vanished and fell into the Cumberland River, were examined by the TAPC. In a statement, TAPC spokesman Aaron Rummage said that the organization scrutinized extensive video footage provided by businesses from that evening and that it had followed all available leads in the evidence. This included witness interviews and purchase records. The investigators were unable to determine any wrongdoing. The TAPC investigation into whether Mr. Strain was served alcohol while visibly intoxicated on the night of March 8, 2024, did not result in any concrete evidence in the form of eyewitness testimony or video proof of a violation, Rummage said, despite the tragedy of the circumstances surrounding his death. Toxicology reports and other evidence show that Mr. Strain became inebriated throughout the evening. But there isn't any concrete proof that he was given alcohol at a licensed establishment while obviously inebriated.